Let's revert my hair back to curly using just one hand. Not because this is a challenge, but I messed up my left wrist and I can't bend it, so this is a real life challenge and I look like a hobo right now, so let's fix it. So this is what we're working with. It was fun having straight and then blown out hair for a while, but it's messy now and I'm beyond ready to be curly again. I'm starting with this new scalp serum I just got to give my scalp a little pre-wash treatment and this is the Lee Stafford Grow It Longer Stimulating Scalp Serum that has protein to make your hair stronger and ingredients that nourish your scalp. So I figured I might as well try it and apply it all over my scalp and massage it in, also stimulating my scalp for hair growth. I left this in to absorb for a while and then went in with my DIY hair growth oil that I have a tutorial on and this is the version that has the Chebe powder in it since I'm using it as a mask and not a leave-in oil. This helps moisturize, nourish, strengthen, and promote hair growth so I'm putting it all over my roots and also the length of my hair. I'm also massaging that in and stimulating blood flow to my scalp. I love doing different scalp and hair treatments before washing my hair just to pamper myself a bit and also to get better results with my hair. But doing all of this with just one hand was super annoying, but I just did my best. After a few hours, I washed my hair using the new Garnier Color Repair Shampoo that just came out that also has ceramides in it for moisture, and because I had a lot of product in my hair and wanted to start really fresh, I did a double cleanse and got my hair as clean as possible. I find that the most important part of reverting my hair is rehydrating it, so I use the Scala conditioner I've seen everywhere on TikTok, which is known to be very moisturizing and great on curls. And I'll be posting a one minute review breaking down all my thoughts on this soon, but I coated my wet hair and used my Tangle Teaser to detangle, and it went really well, but I definitely put in too much and had to squeeze some out, but it was kind of hard to tell with just one hand, so that's my bad. <laughs> But it was really satisfying seeing my curls come right back to life without damage or breakage, which is what I expected since I've only straightened this current growth of hair the one time at a way too low temperature since I was scared, but maybe one day I'll commit to doing a real silk press if you guys bully me enough into it. Now it's time for the leave-in version of my hair growth oil all over my scalp and on the lengths of my hair to lock in all the moisture for many days to come. And of course, I like to end with a scalp massage before finger combing my hair away from my scalp to add volume for when it dries. The scrunch helps the curls form together and here's how it looks dry. I'm super happy with the results and after that fun experiment, I feel more like myself again.